Good day guys, let's solve this problem using parallelogram law. Let's read the problem first. If the magnitude of the resultant force is to be 500 newton directed along the positive y-axis, determine the magnitude of force F and its direction. Now in this problem, the resultant force is given. Its magnitude is 500 newton and it is directed along the positive y-axis. With that being said, then our resultant force is directed along the y-axis or positive y-axis which is in here. And then, let's draw the parallel lines of the forces. Let's say this is force 1 and this is force 2. So let's draw a parallel line of force 1 from the tip of the force 2 And also, let's draw a parallel line of force 2 from the tip of the force 1. Right here. So, since this is parallel to the force 2, so this must be 700 newton. And since this line is parallel to force 1, then the magnitude of this line is also similar to the magnitude of the force 1, which is our missing the resultant line divided the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. So we can use this triangle to get the value for the magnitude of force F. So let's get that triangle. And let's copy the magnitude. So this is 700 Newton. And this red line right here is our resultant and it states here that the magnitude of the resultant force is 500 newton so this is 500 newton looking at our triangle we need at least one angle so that we can use the law of cosine so let's extract that angle from this given since this angle right here is 15 degrees and the angle from here to here guys that is 90 degrees we can get the sum of the two angles 90 plus 15 is equals to 105 that is the angle from here to here guys and from that angle that is the same angle as here and we can call that as alternate interior angles so if the total angle here is 105 that means that our angle right here is also 105 so our angle here is 105 now that we have two sides and one angle we can now use the law of cosine so this is our force so let's get the value of our force is equals to the square root of 500 squared plus 700 squared minus 2 500 multiplied by 700 cos 105 so we can get the value of the magnitude of our force 1 as 959.78 so that is our magnitude of our force force F now let's get the value of theta this one guys we need to find this one so in order to find that one let's find first the angle here guys so let's find this angle and in solving that angle we can use the law of sine so let's state this angle as angle letter a so let's find that angle guys so angle letter a we can solve that as using the law of sine sine a over its opposite sides that is 700 is equals to sine 105 over its opposite side that is the magnitude of f 959.78 so a is equals to arc sine sine 105 over 959.78 
multiplied by 700 and we can get our angle A equals to 44.79 degrees but let us remember that angle A is not what the question is asked for the question asked for the direction of our theta since we already get our, our angle A which is 44.79 so the total angle right here is 90 degrees so let's subtract 44.79 from 90 degrees thus we can get the value for theta is equals to 45.21 degrees and that is our value for theta and our magnitude for our force 1